Hello and welcome to Inastava. This is English lesson for the second grade of high school. Our topic today is food in space. My name is Livia and I will be your teacher in this lesson. Today we will analyze the food pyramid. We will also compare the food you eat in a day and the food that astronauts eat. And your final task will be to write a summary. Now please prepare a notebook and writing utensil. Also, don't forget that you can pause the video lesson at any point. Are you ready? Let's start. In our lesson today, we will use a KWL chart. Please copy this chart into your notebooks. You will fill out these columns throughout the lesson and you will need it to complete your writing assignment. Pause the video now and copy the chart. We are ready now to start the lesson. Have you heard of the proverb, you are what you eat? Do you know what it means? You are what you eat. Please pause the lesson now, write the proverb down and write down any associations you have. When you are ready, continue with the lesson. You are what you eat means to be fit and healthy. To be healthy, we need good food. There are experts who tell us what good healthy food is, and they also tell us the amounts of each type of food that should be eaten in a day. These experts are a dietitian, a nutritionist, and a nutritional therapist. This is what our experts advise. Do you know what this represents? Food pyramid, not the conventional one though, but still, Let's discuss healthy food. What is food pyramid? It represents foods with the same type of nutrients grouped together. Following the recommendations of dietitians and nutritionists, we can have a healthy diet. Choosing the food we eat following the food pyramid will help us get the right balance of nutritious foods. So do you remember what is at the bottom of the food pyramid? Fruits and vegetables. Experts say we should have five to seven servings a day. Next, wholemeal cereals, breads, potatoes, pasta, and rice. Experts say three to five servings a day. Next group is dairy products. We should eat or drink milk, yogurt and cheese in three servings a day. Moving up, the amount of food becomes smaller and smaller. So what is in this line here? Meat, poultry, fish, eggs, beans, and nuts. We need only two servings a day of this food type. Close to the top are fats, spread, and oils. These should be eaten in very small amounts. And finally, the top of the pyramid are foods and drinks, which are high in fat, sugar and salt. Experts say we should not eat this every day. Maximum it would be once or twice a week. It all sounds so simple, doesn't it? Let's just be sure we understand it all. 
go through a list of words here. There are four words on the left and there are four definitions or synonyms on the right. Try to match the pairs, link the words. And the words are a diet, nutrition, well-balanced and serving. Are you ready? Let's start from the first word, a diet. What is a diet? Yes, it is the food that you eat regularly. What is a serving? An amount of food for one person. Remember, in the tips from our experts, we should eat five to seven servings a day of vegetables and fruit. Okay, well balanced means healthy in this case yes a well-balanced diet is healthy diet and finally nutrition or nourishment well done guys you are ready for next task we have revised now what healthy food is and now it's time to complete the first column of our KWL chart. I know column. Please pause the video lesson now and write in this column all you know about healthy food. We are ready now for our space adventure. But before we fly off to space, try and think about all the food you eat in a day. Also think about all the water you drink in a day. Any snacks in between meals? Now try to picture the amount of food it actually is. Have you ever thought about what astronauts eat when they are up in space? This is their home now, once they are in space. Do you think they pack much food? Do you think they cook every day? What about the liquids? Try to think about these questions. And also, please fill out column two in your KWL chart now. So the column, what I would like to know. You can write down the questions, maybe keywords, but please fill out table uh, column two. Before we watch the video, here are some terms I would like you to understand before watching. These four terms uh, refer to type of products or food that astronauts are served, thermostabilized products are foods, foods that have been heat processed. We even uh, can buy those type of products at supermarkets in cans or plastic cups. And all we need to do before uh, eating these products is just heat them. Uh, rehydratable foods are the ones um, from which the water has been removed. So before eating or consuming this type of food, they just add water to it. Irradiated foods, usually meat, for example, a steak uh, is cooked, then it is packaged in flexible pouches and it is sterilized by exposure to radiation. This is a specific way of making a type of food uh, valid longer. And finally, freeze-dried uh, products are foods that have been exposed to low temperature dehydration process. I hope this will make watching the video easier. Now, let's watch the video.
What we eat in space is very similar to what we have uh, down here on Earth. In fact, we have a nutrition lab that does a great job of putting together a very healthy, nutritious menu for us with a lot of variety. And so sometimes I think I may actually eat better while I'm up on space than, uh, than when I'm down here on Earth. My name is Monica Leong. I'm a research scientist here at NASA's Space Food Systems Laboratory. I conduct research and development projects on future food systems um, for long duration missions. And I also support the Air National Space Station food provisioning. The American food system has about 203 food items on the menu. Um, we try to give them foods that are familiar to what they would have here on Earth. So we make them mac and cheese, we make them beef brisket. Um, they get all sorts of stuff to make them feel comfortable because when you're in space and you're in a confined area with only five other people, you might miss home a little bit. So we try to make it as comfortable as possible with food. So how much water do I drink in space? Well, I don't know yet. I do know that down here on Earth, uh, I drink a lot of water. In fact, I always have my water bottle with me, um, and so I'm constantly drinking water, and I'm anticipating that that'll be the same up on orbit, but uh, it, obviously it can be a little bit different, and I won't have my water bottle. I'll have my wa little water bag uh, with me when I'm floating around, but uh, I do anticipate drinking lots of water while I'm on orbit as well. They are allowed about two liters of water a day for drinking. Um, they are also allowed about 500 milliliters of water for um, rehydration of the freeze-dried food products. Uh, we also expect that they get some water from the thermal stabilized products um, just to make sure they have a good, healthy nutrition up there. So our diet while we're up in space is actually managed by the nutrition lab and there are actually uh, experts in that field that uh, monitor everything that we eat, that understand all of the nutrition uh, that goes into every meal that we have. And so without them, um, our diet uh, wouldn't be as good as it is and wouldn't be as nutritious as it is. So when we're designing the menus for the astronauts in space, um, we have a dietitian on staff who makes sure that it's well balanced for all the vitamins and nutrients that they need. Um, they also eat about 3,000 calories a day, more or less, depends on each astronaut, but um, they're given a menu, a standard menu to guide them. Um, they don't have to stick with it, but we've set up food pantry styles, so they go in and just take what they want for the day. Um, here are some examples of the food. So we have beverages here. This is a mango peach smoothie. This is a cinnamon scone. Here are some black beans in a th thermostabilized pouch. They also get tortillas, which is actually a, a very hot commodity up there. Granola bars. Cream of spinach, for example, candy coated chocolates, crackers. We also have condiment packages for them. So we send them up things like ketchup, mayo, Tabasco, mustard. Um, they just, they, they often come back to us and said that the food doesn't taste the same in space as it does on Earth. Um, they also can't have regular salt, so we give them um, salt in a bottle. <laughs> Some of the research that I do here at NASA is for the Advanced Food Technology Portfolio. I'm doing research to characterize food systems for long duration missions, including for the ones going to Mars. One of the problems that we have is that the food can be really heavy, and they also can take up a lot of space. So one of the countermeasures to that is to develop um, a nutrition bar that can encompass all of the nutrients from a breakfast and lunch meal, or, or lunch meal, and put them into a food bar. Um, there's nothing like that in the market right now, but we developed 700 calorie food bars that can just be packaged into one pouch, um, so it'll minimize waste, and it'll be lightweight, and it'll be easy to eat, and it takes no time to prepare. We're looking at other technologies such as instant beverages to encompass all of the nutrients as well. Um, there are a lot of applications for this in the real world. Um, for instance, it could help with disaster relief, um, some temporary hunger relief, as well as for camping and survival foods. So this is an example of what a Thanksgiving dinner might look like on the Air National Space Station. So here we have, we have some smoked turkey, and it's actually an irradiated product that is produced for us by um, the military. Um, we have cornbread dressing, which is a freeze-dried item, and it looks like this at first, but once it's rehydrated, it looks just like normal cornbread dressing. Um, likewise, we have the green beans with mushrooms, which um, looks like this in its pouch. And then when you add water to it, it looks, it looks a lot like that. Um, 
Here we have Handy Dams, which is a thermal stabilized product. So it comes in a pouch like this, and they just heat it up and put it right in the plate. Um, here we have mashed potatoes, which is very similar to the green beans and cornbread dressing, where it's freeze-dried, and you just add water, heat it up, and it's ready. Um, we also have apple cider here, so this is what their beverages look like in space. For dessert, we have apples with spice, um, also a thermal stabilized product, comes in a pouch, just heat it up and serve. And another option for dessert would be the crown apple dessert product. NASA wishes you a happy Thanksgiving. We have covered so many different aspects of food in our lesson today. So let's check it. Here is the bit.ly link to a quiz. Please pause the video lesson now and do the quiz. You will get the instant feedback whether your answers are correct or not. Good luck with this activity. As we are approaching the end of our lesson, it's time to fill the third column. Please pause the video lesson again and fill in the column all that you have learned in our lesson today. You will need the KWL chart to complete your final task. And your final task is to write a summary. A summary needs to be concise, complete and clear. When writing your summary, here are some useful expressions. According to, this is uh, an expression you can use to refer to the words of the speakers that we were listening to in our lesson today. You can also use the verbs like claim, point out, explain, or state. You should start your summary with the explanation of the topic. Clearly state what you will write about. Then add several sentences about the topic. Remember, you are writing a summary. Include only basic and most important pieces of information. Do not add any examples. And you will finish your summary with a conclusion. Use this checklist once you finish your writing assignment and before you send it to your teacher. This is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for your attention and until the next time, bye!